Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 11 starts now. The system failed them. Tonight we're hearing from the family of a murdered woman whose suspected killer is believed to have been set free after a previous attempt on her life. New tonight, they are heartbroken and they are furious. Slea Frazier was murdered this week during a violent rampage in Harper Woods. Her boyfriend, Jonathan Welch, is the accused in the case. And at the time, he was out on a $10,000 bond for trying to kill Frazier just days before. Sean Lay has been digging deeper into a very sad, horrendous bond controversy. He's live at 36 District Court tonight where a magistrate set that bond, Sean. Magistrate did set that bond here a number of days ago, Devin, here at 36th District Court. We continue to ask the magistrate about her decision-making, what went into that bond. She has yet to respond to any of our questions. Chief Judge here also has not responded to our questions. So we go to the victim's family. Of course, they're heartbroken. They're outraged. They have questions about this bond. How do you commit a crime like sexual assault and, and torture and, and they let you out with $10,000? Quazon Frazier asking the key question of 36 District Court Magistrate Don White on behalf of his murdered sister, 22-year-old Zalea Frazier. Why did White give Frazier's boyfriend, 23-year-old Jonathan Welsh, a $10,000 bond and a tether after a horrific domestic violence attack against Frazier June 2nd? The charges, torture, home invasion first degree, harmful device causing injury, criminal sexual conduct, assault to commit, sexual penetration, assault to do great bodily harm, three counts of felonious assault. Welsh posted that $10,000 bond last Friday. He is now charged with murdering Frazier last Sunday while murdering his stepfather and critically stabbing his own mother while setting her house on fire and shooting at police. At Welsh's arraignment on the murder charges, Harper Woods police called the bond given to Welsh an opportunity to kill. Uh, he was given a chance with bond at that time and took his freedom as an opportunity to finish a job and kill victim Frazier. You know, 10,000 is easy to come up with. It's people that, 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 that steal something from a store that would get more than 10,000. You tortured somebody, you sexual assaulted somebody, and you got out with paying $10,000. So again, the magistrate who set the bond has yet to respond. The chief judge has yet to respond. Who has responded to us so far is Prosecutor Kim Worthy. She tells us tonight, quote, it is an understatement to say that it is exceedingly difficult to get appropriate bonds for violent felonies from some of the 36 district court magistrates. Magistrates have reports available to them that detail alleged crimes in their files before a bond decision has to be made. The bond that was given to Mr. Welch for his alleged horrific crime was much higher than we usually get. So we were hopeful that after the presentation of the evidence at the preliminary examination, that would hopefully persuade a judge to actually increase the bond accordingly. It never got to that level tragically, never got to that preliminary examination. Now Welsh is being held, uh, a judge in Harper Woods holding him on no bond tonight. We're live outside 36th District Court, Sean Lake, Local 4. How many questions still to be answered on this? All right, Sean.